Give it to me. She won't let me leave. She won't let me leave. Help! <laughs> Good morning, guys. So I just got out of the shower, and I spent most of my morning just editing yesterday's vlog and doing, you know, the basic everyday things that I do. And now I am taking a break to head downstairs and have some lunch. And I'm not quite sure what we have for lunch, but... I don't know, before I look too much into that, I do have to wash all the dishes, and then, yeah, I'm gonna have some lunch. stamping in my bullet journal and I wanted to kind of walk you guys through my little setup for stamping in case like I don't know anyone finds it helpful if you do stamping in your bullet journal um this I don't know is my little system that I use to easily and quickly and efficiently stamp in my bullet journal and so yeah I thought I'd kind of give you guys a tour so I have my whole basket of studio l2e stamps over here and these are absolutely by far my favorite planner stamps I recommend them to anyone who asks and yes I love them <laughs> so here's my little like basket of them and then over here is are all the tools that I use not the eraser <laughs> Um, so this is what I use. I use a slightly damp uh, paper towel that has been thoroughly wettened and then like squeezed out so no extra water comes out, but the whole thing is very damp. It's basically like a DIY um, baby wipe, which is what I used to use, but then I forgot to buy them a couple of times and so I kind of came up with this and this is a lot easier. So yeah, that's what I use. And what I use this for is to wipe the stamp off after I've stamped it to kind of like clean it and so it, it doesn't get too stained by the ink. I then lay the stamp in this little just plastic kind of dish thing. I think it was like some from some packaging from like binder clips that I bought from Target, but it's just like a plastic lid that I use and I stick the stamps to the plastic to kind of let it thoroughly dry before putting it back in its packaging. And also this is the ink that I, that is like my favorite ink to use. It is the Versafine in Onyx Black. And I think that's, it's the best black ink I've found. It's very crisp and very just like, it's very nice. And it matches like my pen ink very nicely. So it's kind of like a seamless integration of the two different, you know, inks. See, obviously the stamped with the Versafine and this is all like written in pen. So yeah, I just really like how it looks and how it blends into my planner. And that is my system for stamping in my bullet journal. I hope that was semi useful or interesting, but yeah, I found that that's really useful. And like I said, I used to use um, just basic baby wipes for cleaning off my stamps after. I also, even when I first started planning, after every single stamp, like, you know, you know, inking, stamping, after every single stamp was used, I would take it into the bathroom and then hand wash it with soap and warm water and like dry it off and then put it in the little plastic thing to dry. Like it was a process. And so when I first discovered the idea of using baby wipes to clean it off, that was much better because then I could just sit at my desk the whole time. And now the paper towel is just so much easier because I was finding that I wasn't going through through like the baby wipes fast enough. And by the time I got to the end, they were all dried out and it was just kind of I don't know, a waste. And like, I have paper towels anyways. I don't use, I don't like, I kind of do stamping sessions. And so I don't use it every day. And so I'm not like wasting too many paper towels. I don't know. Now we're getting into a rant. But anyways, um, yeah, that's kind of how I do stamping. So I'm going to do a little bit of stamping in my bullet journal and I'm coming along. Things will be like all finalized and finished and set up for the year pretty soon. And I'm really excited. I am definitely loving my moleskin. I will say the one thing I would definitely, definitely change is the thickness of the paper. It just, it kind of sucks how thin it is, but I don't know. Like I said before, it shadows, it doesn't bleed, and so I'm trying my best to just deal with it, but it just, that's the one complaint I would have.
going to take a little break from my bullet journal and I'm going to fold all of this laundry so it doesn't end up sitting in my bedroom for another week like it usually does. I don't even know how two people make this much laundry in just one week. I don't even know what people with kids must do because that's like, I don't know, it's crazy. I don't know how on earth we make this much laundry between the two of us in a single week. But yeah, I am going to fold it all and hopefully put it all away right away and then be done with it until next Monday. <laughs> getting ready to go out to sushi with her friend. Yummy. I know, I'm really excited. I'm excited to try a new place. Yeah, it's up in like Timonium, it's next to REI. Yeah. I know, it's cool. like it's like in that little oh shopping center. Oh my god, center. actually I think I've been there. Oh. Yeah. I've been there with Maggie and her mom like years Sorry. ago. <laughs> Not a new place, but. Oh, I'm excited, I remember liking it. Cool. Should be fun, yeah, this little girl, as always. Freaking, Freaking out. Freaking out. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Okay. Alright, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to update you guys. We're just basically getting ready. We're heading out in like five minutes probably. No. No. Now. We're heading out now. We're heading out now. Alrighty, we are back from dinner. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. We went to a sushi place, which turns out I actually have been to about like six or seven years ago. I Actually, I think I discovered this while I was vlogging uh -huh. so yeah okay but never mind so I had but it was really really good and I got normally I get like the same sushi rolls since normally we go to the same place whenever we go but so I got something slightly different it was really good it was shrimp tempura cucumber and lump crab meat on the inside and then avocado and seared tuna on the outside with a special saucy thing that was like sweet with like a slight little tingle but it was really really good what did you get? I think mine was crab, sh plain shrimp, and avocado. Nice. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah. I had a good time, and now we're back home, and Melissa is eating some more. <laughs> well, I want popcorn, but Mary's not ready. I, you can make popcorn if you want to make popcorn. No. Why? Anyway, the friend that we went out to eat with, when we were eating, she realized, like, her boyfriend had asked her how long we had known each other. And she realized that in two years, we'll have known each other for 20 years. It's and I was just time. like, oh, that's a long time. That's two decades. I don't decades. think that I still talk to anybody that I've known that long besides, like, my family. Yeah. Like, no, I don't talk to, I'm not, like, friends with anybody yeah. that I'm, like, that I still know. No, that's a lie. I mean, because I, mean, I guess, like, I know her brother and, but there's no that I, nobody that I'm, like, actively, like, talking to. That's a long time to know somebody. It is a long time to know somebody. Getting old is weird, guys. Merritt and I say it to each other all the time. You just, it. like, think about certain things. And, like, growing up is so weird. It is. Just, like, realizing certain things and, like... What was the one? I you forget. came home from work one day and you are like, did you ever think about the fact that, like, one day your parents picked you up and then put you down and never picked you up again? It's like, what? <laughs> and then I started listing all these other things, like... <laughs> One time they, you know, gave you a piggyback ride and they never gave you another piggyback ride. <laughs> or like one time you ate baby food and you never ate it again. <laughs> Seriously though. <laughs> it's crazy. But then you can start it all over yourself. Yeah. That's weird. I'm going to have a kid one day and I'm going to pick it up and then I'm going to put it down and I'm never going to pick it up again. I wonder how old they're going to be. And you're going to have a kid one day who's going to have a kid one day who's going to pick it up and then never put it down. Never put it down. Never <laughs> put it down. Be as a parent. Right? <laughs> Seriously, though, 
and now every time I pick my kid up though and we have kids I'm gonna say is this time. the last time is this the last time I'm gonna pick them up <laughs> you totally are <laughs> I will anyway guys that's a little inside a light, uh... <laughs> inside look at my brain <laughs> yeah we're normal right <laughs> what we're normal I think all right so here's what Merritt and I talk about all the time like we watch people vlog and like, you know, you see people and you interact with people and you know, you're always like, there's always these certain things that you do at home just with each other where you're like, oh my God, we're so weird. Nobody else must do this. But really, I feel like everybody does it, but like nobody ever does it in front of anybody except their significant other. So everybody thinks that nobody else does it <laughs> except for them, but really everybody does it. There you have it. <laughs> You're goof. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to kind of lighten this deep philosophical mood. <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. What are we doing? I don't know. Oh, you want to? Was that tonight? No, tomorrow you want to watch a movie. Tomorrow we're going to watch a movie and drown our sorrows in food and movies. Here, here. And lots of Do you think they'll get what I mean? If they're in America, they will. <laughs> Anyways. What are we doing tonight? I don't know. Uh, we could watch American Horror Story. We have the that whole... is not light. <laughs> <laughs> you just said we're gonna lighten the mood. I meant we're gonna, I don't know, lighten the vlog mood. <laughs> I don't know what to watch. That's like all we have. We have a bunch of stuff. Yeah, but that we can actually watch right now. Can we watch The Fosters? Is that anywhere? I have no idea. Let's do American Horror Story. You were not as into last season as I was. I was not into the witch season. I really liked last season, the hotel one. I, I love was totally, the witch season. I didn't like it. It was dumb. There's new shows I want to start. No, but we are not more starting any more new shows. Not even Scandal? You didn't want to watch Scandal. You're just trying to start a new show so you don't have to watch the American Horror Story. Why? You like that show. I just don't like it after last season. Well, then I'll watch it on my own. <laughs> What? The, the post you posted on Facebook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I guess we're going to watch American Horror Story. If you have a better suggestion, feel free to bring it to the table. Scandal. You don't even want to watch Scandal. <laughs> oh, my God. The new Power Rangers mo uh, trailer came out. Oh, my God. You want to see that, don't you? Was that Power Rangers? No, that was... You got really excited about it Power, Power Rangers. Power it was Power Rangers, yeah. No, I was thinking, what was I thinking? I kept getting it confused with something else. That, or I kept thinking it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It was really, I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't even know. But yeah, that's the one with like the teenagers, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It did look good. Do you want to stop vlogging before I show you the trailer? Yeah, I'm trying or to. You, you won't let me why? end the clip. You keep talking. <laughs> do you see what I have to live with? <laughs> Glad somebody knows. Shut up. Give it to me. She won't let me leave. She won't let me leave. Help! <laughs> you made me zoom. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Dakota's the captive. <laughs> Alright, let's stop being rude. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're going to try and figure out something to watch. Are you going to make popcorn? No! I told you you could make popcorn. Don't I try and put this I ate potato on. chips because you weren't ready. You asked me like 30 minutes ago in the car if I wanted popcorn. I was still full from dinner. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, don't act like you're above eating Are you going to watch this trailer with me or not? <laughs> All right, I'm going to go watch this trailer with this sweet pea. <laughs> so we ended up settling on American, American Horror, Horror Story. Story. I like it. Do it's good. Like I it? do like it. Yeah. It's a little creepy for me, but... It's definitely a little creepy. <laughs> it's a lot creepy. <laughs> yeah. But... Surprisingly, really like... I don't like scary movies, but, like, I can handle the TV shows. Yeah. I don't know. I used to be so, so into scary movies. Like, I used to watch all of them, but they scare her too much, and so I don't watch them anymore. <laughs> well, apparently Mara gets scared of them, too, and she apparently well, like just told scared, me that she like had to creepy. suppress that she got scared of them because I get so scared of them. I was like, okay, well, from the moment we started dating... 
you told me that you loved scary movies and I did. And all of a sudden she she's always been scared of them now. Not like scared scared. I get scared. But just like scared, the guys. point where like all right, you watch American Horror Story and it's all sorts of creepy and then like I have to take Dakota out by myself like at, at like before we go to bed and it's dark and like it's like silent. And it's just like creepy, you know, or like I offered to take her out with me with her or go okay. out with her. She said, "No, I don't need you to go out with me." You know what show like used to super creep me out when I had to take Dakota out tonight? Pretty Little Liars. Yeah, Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I am marrying you. Bursting my bubble right there. But yeah. I thought you were asking me. I don't know me. why. No, well, I don't. I was more like having a dramatic pause. <laughs> but yeah, it was like so, I don't know why. It's just like so, it like that show. It makes you feel like it gives you that feeling that like someone's watching you. You know what I mean? I feel like it totally just... We stopped watching it, though. It got stupid oh, it after they figured out who A is. Yeah, like, it was so bad after that. Like, like they should have just stopped. They really, really should have. And I'm not a person, like, I like my shows to keep going, like, as long as possible. I'm never one to say, like, oh, it should have ended. Like, that show should have ended. <laughs> Any hoozles. <laughs> We're going to go to bed. Huh? I need some water. Me too. I'm thirsty. You dumped mine out. You told me to bring out your glass. Yeah, I said bring it out, not dump it out. You were loading the dishwasher. Dakota's ready for bed. I know, she's like... She went up to her bench to go be fools. taken out. <laughs> Alright guys, we're getting in bed a little early for once. Yeah. We are. are we going to read? Yeah, if we get going. Alright, we're going to read some Harry Potter. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Do, do I play with my hair a lot in the vlog, guys? Yes. And you also, like, you, yeah, you do that. You, like, mess with your face. What? Yeah, you do I, that I a just lot do that when you're tired. I just do that in general. You do it most, like, at the end of the night when you're, like, tired. And you also do, like, you just, like, pull your shirt up over your face and just, like, let it sit there. Yeah. I'm, like, editing. I'm, like. My nose is cold. <laughs> 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 Good night, guys. Good night.